hi guys welcome back to my another tutorial video uh, in this video i will show you guys how to create a very effective and a very classic looking um, cover or poster design in uh, adobe photoshop so for this design i'm using a commercially free to use uh, image from pixel bay uh, i will link this image guys for you guys to download in the description below and uh, uh, these images in pixel bay if you are new these images are free to use for commercial use so you don't need to worry about uh, uh, copyright strike or anything like that okay so i already download this image and i will just drag this image from uh, to the design here as you guys can see this image is very big uh, and you don't need to worry about the resolution and stuff like that and it's 300 dpi also so which is good for us anyway our design the final design we are going to use the afton uh, dots so even if the image is not very large you guys can still use it for this uh, type of design all right guys so let's start with our design and i first thing first make this bigger until here and i think uh, just keep it along this line we can change it later now we go to uh, levels by control uh, control m which will bring the levels here so if you are new to levels what we are going to do here is make the lighter areas more lighter so the graph will go like this start from darker to lighter and for all three channel photoshop only no this is how photoshop work guys it will differentiate darker to lighter in 255 uh, different bits and uh, for each channel there will be three different uh, graphs which you can adjust according to your your preference so normally we keep all three channels and the lighter tones which is here make it if you bring it up you guys can see the lighter tones are getting lighter and if you bring the darker tones down, you guys can see darker tones, which are shadows are getting darker. So this is what the levels are all about if you are new to the levels. And if you already know what levels is, you can ignore this part. All right. So we, I think this level is uh, uh, for this design. I want to bring the darker tone also to higher somewhere around this level and seems to be okay and this nice smooth curve you guys can see lighter tones are very light even the darker tones are almost uh, light as the lighter tones okay so we say okay to this uh, uh, edit after this i'm going to edit the saturation and the lightness of this artwork we want to bring this artwork to black and white and also bring the lightness a little bit higher so to do that i will go with Control u which will bring the U and saturate. You can also bring it from here. And in this one, you guys can see there's hue and saturate and lightness. If you guys bring down the saturation here, the image will change to black and white. And I wanted to bring the lightness a bit higher, like this is fine. And let's say, okay. Now the last thing is apply the upfront filter to this image. To do that, we select this uh, layer and go to filter and select pixelate and color upfront. Uh, color upfront is where you can achieve those olden days printouts, uh, papers. You guys can see the dots on images and uh, the pixels and the four. If you're know, aware of four color printers, sometimes those uh, four colors are not aligned. So all those effects you can create here. Actually, color afton was used in last time to save ink in some of those print shops when it's come to mass production. Uh, they actually purposely bring the pixels down for printing to save colors. This how it was used to be. Uh, like in 90s or early 2000 so now what we are trying to do is we are trying to replicate that effect for this uh, design to make the design very classic just select this upturn and you guys can see there are so many uh, things here uh, the first thing is maximum radius is what is the dot you want 
for our design uh, dot radius i will choose maybe 14 and uh, for for our design we are not going to overlay the uh, dot so we want to enter a value which are all, all for channel follow the, exactly the same number uh, i thinking like 200 so let's go with 200 and edit uh, uh, all four channels as 200 if you have different values there will be overlapping uh, so i will show you the different guys so if all 200 you this is what we want actually so we do smooth uh, zoom in you guys can see all dots are in exactly the same place but let's say what what will happen if you choose to pixelate color of tone choose to have different values let's say this one hundred and next one is three hundred yeah and okay as you guys can see all these dots are overlapping and this is not we wanted for this design maybe we can use this for some other design but we don't want it for this design so we go back and we oops So we go back to here and again we go to filter uh, uh, pixelate and color of tone and select all of them 200 okay all right guys so our design the main part is almost ready and uh, one thing i wanted to do is i don't want to keep this design in white color I want to give a page, a simple page color design and I select this somewhere like hmm, a little bit more yellow, I think 8, magenta also a bit more, yeah I think this is fine and this color, uh, so I want to apply the same to this artwork as well, so double click and color overlay and uh, apply the this one this color as a multiple tone okay guys so our design is perfectly aligned maybe what i'm thinking is we go back to the earlier stage and uh, we apply the background here and i apply the color overlay first multiple tone and then apply the color after filter mm, pixelate color after tone. maybe i bring down the radius to 12 yes and apply mm. all right guys i think this is looking perfect okay let's create a folder and put a main main image okay now what we are going to do is i will put the title first title of this design book cover is strange strange things so you guys can will now understand why i use this image and for what purpose i have no idea what is inside the book I, my job is to design something people will see and buy that's why they always say don't just the book by its cover <laughs> so anyway our job is to create good design so i want to bring this color to maybe yeah maybe a little bit more grayish somewhere around here okay title is done and for this one let's apply some strange things since it's strange things give a yellow color i think i like this yellow mixed with this gradient tone and apply one more here make it bigger okay this looks good maybe this one will bring it a bit more smaller
All right, half of the half of our design is done. So there will be logo here, which will be in yellow color. But I will not show or design the logo for this book yet in this design. You guys are free to use if you want to use this design actually. Or you can download this image from the description below also. Okay, so this is where the logo is going to be. I just put a placeholder just to balance the colors out. Okay, so our logo is done, title is done, main image and the background. Okay, background. Since there is a color, it's also a part of the design now. So I bring it to main image and bring it below. All right. The thing I wanted to put is a footer note here. And also I want to balance this yellow color out with the footer note. So uh, when you design something, the balancing of color is important. And I will just select the footer part here, footer and let's have a random text um, you can have any text actually oops let's have like um, you can choose to believe like it or not to believe it it's here call. Mm. I'm just typing some random words, guys. So is this? I choose to believe it. I don't believe it's your call. All right. And I want to bring this one a bit down here. And also, let's make it a bit more regular size and one more thing i want to do is i want to apply multiple apply a paint like that painting effect like this but i want to use but i wanted to make it like a hand written one so something like that so i want to incorporate this one as a part of the design where it shows like uh, someone use a highlighter and i like this text so all right, so now you can see these colors all blended very nicely. And one more last thing is that I wanted to have this part here, something similar to a note on top. So I call it note. And uh, Let's go to the path pen tool and select like okay, this. Okay, and we don't need outline, we need a solid color. Let's give a solid color first. Yeah, this is the color I wanted to apply and before i give a shadow i wanted to make this like a note on top of this page and before i go further i want to do something uh, like maybe give a different color for this one yeah and alt track to copy and select all these shapes, ellipse shapes, and right click and merge shapes. We'll merge all the shapes to one shape. 
an all track here also and make it like this and control select the shape hide the shape now and for this one apply a mask and select the mask and control i now you can see those lines here those circles here same with the other one control and select and now select the mask and maybe select the brush and apply black color 100% so make sure it's 100% and apply here all right so now here we have this shape we don't need these two anymore delete yes and uh, we can have a uh, drop shadow and make the shadow a bit here we don't need too much distance and spread size yeah something like this is okay okay so this is a note it feels like a note or stick on top of this this book and i will just make it like this and make the color bit more reddish maybe like six yeah maybe it will be more dirtier than the book cover so that's the reason seven maybe make it seven and this one yellow make it nine all right so our note is there already now we can apply the note and here i'm going to have the text limited edition and this text i want to make it like a handwritten text first we adjust according to the design and this text will be okay something like this we can make a more handwritten text but i like this text it's it's much with our design so i just leave it like that okay so this all good a fun final thing guys to make it even more uh like cool looking uh cover i have i wanted to apply a page fold if te texture effect to this image uh to do that it's very easy guys just take a paper fold it and make it like a wrinkles something like this and take a picture using your smartphone and bring it to photoshop so i have copied this from internet this is a free image but you guys can use your own phone to take this image and make it even more better so i will uh, bring this to the artwork here and you guys can see the size of this one is small but it doesn't matter because we are not going to use this image for any resolution purposes just place it uh, where you think in an appropriate place where there will be folded places so i think this is like this is better and now control m and bring the darker tones darker and the lighter tone a bit more lighter and make it okay now now select the layer by pressing control and control c copy this and hide this layer for now go to the main image layer and select the design you want to fold it which in our case is this one select a layer mask and select the mask and all click the mask will ma open up the mask now control shift v place that cop will copy the texture from here and control d will deselect the selection and now you go back to the layer you guys will see that folded effect so now i wanted to apply the same effect to these two yellow bars also mm -hmm. to do that i select this uh, layer again and bring it down to appropriate size and also i want to bring this folded center part to the center of this this yellow bar and make it okay and all control will select this layer and control c will copy 
and control D will deselect. Now we go, we hide this one first and we go to that object which is this one and uh, make a mask and all select the mask will open up the mask then again control shift V will place it on the exact same place and control D will deselect it again we go to the layer here as you guys can see it has applied nicely and we adjust the curves to make it more authentic make it more realistic and all click will make it make the mask here and what I wanted to do is you guys can see there's some places there's uh, dots are visible because of these lines here so I select this white color and maybe just apply a bit here and there we can keep the mask keep the layer on and also we can do this here so I think yeah I think this one is looking good okay so this one has that realistic effect and we can do the same go back again and bring it to this one here and control C select and control C and go to this layer mask select the mask, alt click and apply the white color and shift control v and go back to the layer and select the mask and edit the unnecessary part oops sorry need to select white color and yeah like this not 100 percent I want to keep a little bit also to show that this is this yellow color has been turned off worn off yellow color has been worn off all right guys so I think this look okay okay so control D okay so our design is almost done and this is our des first design while i was designing this i thought to have one more design same design with changing colors so that uh, we can do go to image and uh, duplicate which will duplicate this uh, same artwork we have two artworks here and in this design we keeping the same design we will see maybe apply a blue color tone to this this effect and see how it will looks go to the color all oh. i put it in a layer so that i can apply another color overlay to that layer so I select this color, so on multiple, I will make it overlay or maybe add, no it's too light maybe, oops, uh, we can play with these uh, different settings and see which is appropriate, add light, mm, color per this one also not bad this looking nice also this look nice and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to apply apply the afton effect to this font also filter color afton and we keep the same settings and we apply the color overlay effect for this as well so you guys can see this one look better and uh, so this look nice also so we have two different options you guys uh, one is one is plain and the other one is colored version and uh, 
maybe green color will be more even more nicer let's apply and see what will Yeah, green color also looking good. Alright guys, so you guys can play with these settings and come up with different different designs. And end of the day, the look and feel of this is what is important. And um, hope you guys like this tutorial and learn something new from this tutorial. And if you guys like this kind of tutorials, please let me know in the comment section. And I will be continue to do more tutorials like this. Thank you for watching and see you guys in the next tutorial.